Hey guys, welcome into our pregame show. Just one more game until bye week. So the Hawkeyes have a lot to get done this weekend. Um, so oh, to really? make sure that they are four and two going into bye week. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, um, it's been a rough couple of weeks. Yeah, um, just injury wise. They need to get healthy, um, especially the offensive mm -hmm. line. Um, I'm sure Akram still needs some time. James Butler, hopefully we can get him back pretty soon. Um, so I think the bye week will be really good for them, mm -hmm. but they need to win <laughs> yeah. going into it, just confidence-wise as well. Coming off that bad loss, though, let's talk about last week. Ooh, last week. Um, if I could use one word to describe it, it would be... Bad. Yeah. It was just. It was just bad. Yeah. It was really tough to watch. Totally. It was one of those games that if you're watching on TV, you're just kind of like, well, let me just quick change the channel to a game that I don't yeah. care about. Um, yeah. It just the offense was rough. The defense, you know, it did look good yeah. after that first quarter, but yeah. I mean, Michigan State didn't look good either. No. It just was. Both teams just looked bad. Yeah. So. Um, I didn't get to see it live. Um, or at least, like, on the field. Um, I was at the Notre Dame game. I don't know if I told all of you that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was at Notre Dame. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was just – it looked so slow. And um, it was – yeah, it was rough, bad. Um, hopefully, though, I said, like, I'm ho hopefully this game will just give them – be a kick in the butt so that they know – they need to play like they played against Penn State. They're actually probably better than they played against Penn State. Yeah. They need to play like they are playing the number four team in the country every single week. And I don't think this game would mean as much if they didn't lose to Michigan State and then have another loss to Penn State. Like, so they need to win. Like, yeah, they don't have, especially U of I. Come on. <laughs> but like you said, after coming off of that bad, bad loss to Michigan State and then even the loss to Penn State, these guys really have to clean up some stuff. Like they talked about execution, didn't hear that word enough, or fundamentals, they don't say that word enough either on availability on Tuesday. <laughs> they don't so, say it a hundred times no. each. <laughs> so they have a lot of that to do before taking on and just preparing for U of I. You know, now as we turn our attention towards this week, it's all about us trying to improve on, on very uh, obvious points right now. Uh, you know, just going down the list, obviously, ball security, the turnover issue, something we're going to have to address, uh, handling the blitz, uh, and then just, you know, overall developing the kind of confidence and grit it takes to be successful home or away. But, uh, you know, we, that was our first uh, away game in Big Ten, and we just didn't, uh, I don't think, handle the whole thing very, very well. So that's part of the equation with some newer players. I'm certain, certain that uh, factored into it a little bit that we're going to have to get over that and uh, learn how to play a little bit better. You know, just get back, um, get back to what we're trying to get back to in the early season. You know, execution, um, coming off the ball hard, being able to read our keys, um, and just going out there and try to be fundamentally sound. You know, start it all over. You know, go back to the basics um, and try to find out where we made mistakes, how to improve it, um, and then you know, grow as leadership, grow our leadership on the team. We're we're close, and you know, we got a lot of moving parts, a lot of young guys, and. Uh, we're close, and I think we we all feel that you know we're no we know we're just one or two plays away from really really being good, and uh, you know I think it's picking up a little bit more. The guys are really kind of realizing that and really attacking practice and attacking. All right, let's just talk about this defense as a whole, like from the whole season, game one to now. Josie Jewell leading the Big Ten in tackles 60 with 60. He is sixth in the nation. There is 99 tackles between all three linebackers, so Bo Bauer, Josie Jewell, Ben Neiman. Then we have three players ranked in the top ten in the league in sacks. we got Anthony Nelson, who's tied for third with four sacks, and then A.J. Epineza, so true freshman, mm -hmm. and then Josie Jewell are tied for eighth. That just says a lot about the defense. Um, from game one, they had some rough spots, but I think they're allowed to, just like any team. Um, but they have just seen – they've been strong. Um, they – Phenomenal against Penn State, against Saquon Barkley. Um, yeah, he ran for a lot of yards. But, um, <laughs> but still, um, I'm very impressed with them and what they've done. And I know how hard – you can just tell – and they just look tired, like so tired. And yeah. they always seem so hungry to get back on the field. And that's the one where Josie uses a lot. So I think they need to give it all this weekend. I know they're tired. There are probably a lot of injuries. Um, but just one more week. They got to give it their all this week. Pick up the offense again. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. Um, but then they got by week. They got a week off. So I think they have a lot they need to do this week. Yeah. Um, 
the defense has just really, really carried the team yeah. so far, um, especially in the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. They've left it out all, all on the oh, field, 100%. and they've given the offense so many opportunities, <laughs> so yeah. many opportunities, and they're just not getting anything back. So mm -hmm. they're out on the field a lot of minutes yep. for a lot of plays, and it's just, it has to be tough on yeah. them. It has to be frustrating, you know. They keep talking about putting out the fires. Mm -hmm. That's their thing, is putting out the fire. Yep. And there have been a lot That's of fires right. that they've had to put out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, Josie Jewell has just, phenomenal like yeah. he's first in the Big Ten with with uh, tackles and it's not even close the yeah, next no. guy has almost like 20 tackles less than yeah. him um, so yeah that's really says mm -hmm. a lot about his senior leadership and yeah. how much he's willing to put into the game yeah. too um, and I really think that the rest of the defense feeds off of that yeah um, yeah it's just it's got to be tough for them yeah. with the offense just yeah. really not getting anything going yeah and he just looked pissed off on Saturday not after look the game, happy. those interviews um, which I don't blame him. Um, I probably wouldn't be too happy with the offense either. Um, but moving on to the offense, Nate Stanley, he was leading the Big Ten for touchdowns. He's now tied for second with 12 touchdowns, which if you keep up, he had 12 touchdowns last week too, so that's not good. <laughs> but it's okay. Didn't have one this week. He's still a true sophomore. You have to remember he's still – I was expecting – this game a lot sooner in the season, to be honest. Um, That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. So he deserves one of these games. I like. I thought this was gonna be against Iowa State. I thought this was gonna be against Penn State. Um, so, you know, I mean, and you know, he's. It's hard on him, and he seems like he takes a lot of ownership, mm -hmm. and. Um, but he's not getting much help. The offensive line has been moved around, like you said, multiple, like all the entire season. Ike, so sad with him being out, but Boone's injured. Sean Welsh said during the first week he felt like it was the fifth week. That's not promising. Um, not at all. So, I mean, there's only so much everyone can do, but then, I mean, you talked about the play calling a little bit as well. That's not helping. Yeah, the, you know, just that offensive line has just been shuffled around yeah. with all of those injuries. You know, nobody's been in one specific spot and yep. been able to practice that for a while. Yeah. Um, and then it's just tough on them, too. Like, yeah, they, they've had trouble opening up holes mm -hmm. and everything, but when they have nine guys rushing at them and there's only yeah. six of them, it's hard for any run game to get established. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, that's mm -hmm. where the play calling comes into play, too. Yeah. And it just, I don't know, it's been mm -hmm. tough to watch just how that unit hasn't really been cohesive or yeah. working, frankly, in the past two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um. I'm just hoping, I mean, Illinois is a whole lot of young guys. Um, they started 10 true freshmen um, two weeks ago or three weeks ago. So, yeah. And then last season, they were mostly true freshmen. So, yeah, now they got sophomores. But still, our defense is extremely experienced. And, yeah, we're not as experienced on the offensive side of the ball, but our offensive line, well, was. <laughs> um, but this should be... This should be Iowa's game. That being said, predictions, do you have Iowa? I have to take Iowa yeah. here because I, if Iowa doesn't win here, I don't really want to see the rest yeah. of the season. Yeah, fair um, enough. I don't want to see them going 3-3 three and three into no. bye week after playing. They're not a 3-3 three three team. No. After playing Illinois especially. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think this is, they say all the time, every game is a must-win game, but this is, is, is <laughs> the most must-win game yeah. that they've had all season so far. They need to go into bye week with that momentum of winning a game. Mm -hmm. They need to go into bye week beating Illinois, who they mm -hmm. shut out last yeah. year. Um, so, yeah, I have to take Iowa because I think – I mean, we talked about this last week kind of, yeah. that they were going to come out all fires blazing after yeah. the Penn State well, game. You but, think, but, you know, <laughs> after two straight losses, they, they have to. They don't have a choice. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm also going to take Iowa just because, again, they are playing U of I. So if they don't take Iowa, I mean, if you don't take Iowa, I think you're crazy. But yeah. they just keep shooting me in the foot every time I choose Iowa. I'm going to go back to picking Wyoming. Um, but <laughs> Plus like it's homecoming, too. Yes, Plus that's going to I mean, Kink's always rocking. Like, yeah. Our, we're always – fans are great. Yeah. Um, it's homecoming, too, for my little brother. Yeah. I'm repping, it, repping Shawano High School over here. Um, he's a senior. It's his last year. Okay. So this is a must-win game for them, too. They make the playoffs if they win, Very which exciting. is awesome. What position? So, offensive line. Okay. Plays a little bit of a defense. He dabbles. but he dabbles in both. Um, well, hopefully he plays better 
on our offensive line did the last couple weeks. But kickoff is at 11.01 on BTN. So excited to be back inside of Kinnick Stadium. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you right back here two weeks from Friday. Don't forget, not next week. It's bye week, so we're off just like the team. <laughs> two weeks from Friday, we'll be right back here, and we'll see you guys then.